Hi, my name is Yi Wei from Singapore Polytechnic. Our team, Robo Erectors, is participating in the Tianjin Robo Cup Asia Pacific Competition. From left to right, Robo Cup consists Robo Erectors consists of David Lim Chun Yong, Yong Yi Wei, and Dylan Tay Wei Chen. In this video, we'll be presenting the algorithms and strategies we incorporated into our robot and how we optimized it to deliver the most important packages to maximize points gained within six minutes. For this problem, we came up with the solution of first analyzing the shortest distance between any two points, and on runtime, brute force the best path to follow, taking into consideration the time taken to drive the path and total points earned. In order to figure out the routing of the robot, there are two approaches to take, either writing it down by hand or computing it programmatically. To do it programmatically, common solutions to pathfinding and traveling salesmen can be incorporated, like ASTAR, a modified version of Dijkstra's algorithm incorporating an additional heuristic for distance calculation, or nearest neighbor, which says to visit the nearest node available for package delivery. We chose to solve it programmatically. To do this, we implemented Dijkstra's algorithm for map analysis and brute force for package delivery. Both work in conjunction together with PID control to traverse around the map. To know how to traverse the map, we must first convert the map into a variable or object that the C code can understand. We do this by mapping out all of the X and Y coordinates of every single point, as shown in red. Additionally, what nodes are connected to what other nodes are also saved, represented in green. With a pre-made Python script, we compute the fastest route from any point to any other point using Dijkstra's algorithm. To perform Dijkstra's algorithm, we set any point as starting h and the distance of h as 0. All other points will be infinity. We visit the point with the smallest distance that is unvisited and compute the distance of its neighbors. If the distance is smaller than the one that is currently saved, we replace the new distance with the new calculated distance. Repeat this step until all of the nodes have been visited. Once all of the nodes have been visited, we are finished with one set of the pathing. So we have to repeat steps 1 to 5 for every single node on the map. This gives us the shortest path from any one node to any other node. Weighted edges can also be added, such as the, for the roundabouts or the bridges. To perform brute force, we set in a max array of 7 points for every packaging and for returning back to the collection center. We can then calculate all permutations of the array and estimate the points and time taken to travel to said permutation. This calculation will be for worth. Calculating worth for every route using a variable k, we can generate the fastest route to optimize the amount of points to time ratio. Now I'll let David explain the driving and PID controls. For driving the robot, we can use a PID controller to ensure that the robot drives smoothly. PID is a common control loop mechanism used to fix errors. The PID controller keeps our robot in lane and prevents it from steering off. It also ensures that it follows the line smoothly. It does this by measuring the error, which is the distance our robot is from the line, and then it calculates the required amount of steering to get it back on track. The PID controller consists of three parts, the proportional, integral, and deriv derivative. The proportional part changes the tuning speed the turning speed proportionally with the error. The integral prevents a steady state error by summing up the error from the start until now. Lastly, the derivative allows us to prevent the robot from oversteering by finding the rate of change in error. For the selected solutions, we ended up using Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path between points and the brute force method to find the best delivery path that will give us the most amount of points in the shortest amount of time. In order to save more time, we also used PID control to help the robot drive more smoothly. In the end, using these methods, we had improved results. Using the Dijkstra's algorithm, the robot would find the shortest path between two points on the map, which is more efficient than if the path was manually coded. The brute force method also allowed us to find the best path that will give the most amount of points in the shortest amount of time. The result was improved as we gained 1,500 points, which is 100 more points than what we got using the hand coded path. Additionally, the PID controller allowed our robot to remain centered throughout the run, thus saving time by making it faster. 
at the end of the day, we had learned much from the preparation for this competition. Some of the things we learned include how to better communicate and collaborate with each other, critical thinking and problem solving skills, risk assessment and decision making. We also understood more about our own skills and how much we could improve on them. Aside from that, we also learned many new programming concepts and skills that would be useful for us in the future. With that in mind, we have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you.